guys, so we're back in St. Louis. I'm all the way from Denmark, so I'm a little jet lagged. And the reason I bring that up is because in the past few days we've had a lot of family events and a lot of fun seeing people here, but we managed to uh, make it to the thrift store all tired and worn out and run down. <laughs> And we thought that with all of the stuff that we bought, it'd be a good time to show you some pickups, but in a way where we show you or talk about like what we were thinking and the process behind shopping to give you guys some tips and insights. We've actually already been thrifting twice since being back here in St. Louis. And from the first store, I actually have some clips to show you of stuff that I did and didn't purchase, both in the same category. So we went to Goodwill on the first day, and on Memorial Day today, actually, we went to Savers, where they had this huge 50% off. Everyone was there. It was honestly, crazy. yeah, it was really busy, but the stock is great there. And they have like some higher prices. It's a nicer thrift store, super well kept. They filter through the products, going on and on. But the good part is that it's 50% off, which is awesome. Actually, from Goodwill, I only ended up with one pair of pants. I think that's it, right? Yeah, that's all you got. I got them for you because you forgot your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> I can't it <laughs> Actually, from Goodwill, I only came out with one pair of pants, and that was it. Um, but that was the day that I was like super, super jet lagged, super zonked, had nothing going on inside my mind, couldn't think straight. So what I did was I just kind of like went to the sections that I knew I would find something I like. And usually that is men's trousers, then women's trousers, mm. then what outerwear? Yeah, then you anything say outerwear. Else? There's some good stuff. What, what have I said in the past? Are those the things I usually gravitate towards? Yeah, for sure. And then I did have some ideas for shirting in my mind, so I did stop by there uh, in men's shirting, and I found one thing I liked. Didn't go with it, but I didn't even make it to women's trousers, so I kind of just went straight to men's, and I found like six awesome pairs of trousers that were right in between size 30 to 33, all which are doable, especially uh, depending on where you want to wear it on your waist and if you have a belt and if you can hem it, uh, shit like that. So, ended up in the changing room with probably how many? Six pairs. <laughs> how many? Six pairs. <laughs> that, was so, that was so fake, it was unbelievable. <laughs> oh, I thought we could just roll with it. I thought we could. <laughs> anyway, I ended up. <laughs> ended up in the fitting room with six pairs of black trousers and I think I just had this idea of what I wanted this look this fit that I wanted in my mind before going and I ended up with all of these things pulling them off that all had a different characteristic that intrigued me and most of them something was just off so for example I found these with this really interesting almost tuxedo-esque piping down the side but those were, they had like this weird stitching in the back, like someone clearly yeah. brought it in, it so it was just really like bad. hugging my ass, like really, terrible, terrible. Really no. That's gotta go in the back. Yeah, I know, so <laughs> I can't even see it. Oh my God, it's so bad. <laughs> and then, was there something else wrong about them? I feel like there was, but the piping was cool. Then there was some pinstripe pair with this like flare look to it, cropped, flared, a really good fit, but they were so tight. Uh, up north, right on my waist, terrible. And there was also another pair that was just like clinging to my yeah. crotch, so heavy, and the seat, it was. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, no. I can't get them close. <laughs> oh. They're very tiny. They're cute though, all right. Some of them are too short. Yeah. Yeah, I actually tried on a pair of Dockers, <laughs> like these khakis with pleats that I thought it would be too too khaki like, but from the waist down, they looked great. It was just the fact that they were meant to be bigger and they shouldn't be cropped, but they didn't have the perfect cut to them, like down uh, by your mid calf. I guess I was looking for a shorter pant though. Yeah. But it's just kind of hard thrifting when you're a little bit taller because pants are always too short. But if you're looking for that look, as I was, it ended up uh, good. Which I'm actually wearing the pants right now. I haven't really decided. I kind of want to unhem them or cut them straight across because, I don't know, I've also rolled them up in the past. These shoes that I actually have on is something that I had in mind when I was looking for these pairs of pants. Oh, I actually included those little Alix boots on a recent blog post of mine where I listed out all of these huge spring sales and what I like. So you guys can check that out if you're interested in those shoes and the look with these trousers and whatnot. Also, especially in <laughs> Sorry. There's a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse such a bitch, Dad. 
Another thing I've noticed is, especially in sections that you don't like, like graphic tees, uh, where there's so much, uh, or in shirting, the, your favorite sec the, <laughs> which is your favorite section, uh, you don't go through every single item. Like, you pretty much skim, a little detailed skim, and you know what fabrics you like, what colors you like, what catches your eye. Um, because I used to go through everything and it's like, you get so clogged up in there with all the old clothes and like, it's honestly so tiring. Like when you go to a shopping mall too, why don't you show what you got at uh, the first store, Goodwill, super cool bag. And I'll check on this lighting, a little darker. Nice. Every, and what brand is that? It's from Bath and Body Works originally. <laughs> I'm sure it was one of the free bags, yeah. if any of you oh, are yeah, familiar. For sure. The free bags you get when you purchase around the holiday time. But it's actually really cool. Avery yeah. pointed it and out. And like the D ring right here. And this material is pretty nice, although. Yeah, it's very nice. It actually had this awful keychain on it that I took oh, off. Oh, yeah. Before I, I, even I forgot about it. that. But this was like $3. So. Yeah, bag Amazing. section is also really fun to look through. That's another good one. Yeah. For sure. I also grabbed a ton of different sunglasses. Oh man. Don't oh wait, this is from the store you. today though, right? Oh yeah, this is yeah. from another store. That's cool though. It's from okay. Savers for Memorial Day sale. So many. Yeah. And even more. But they're all really cool. But I guess that's good leeway. And that's not the right word. Good. A good segue. Good segue. Good little segue there. I might, because I got some home goods too, more or less. None of those are home goods. None of these are home goods. But they had a huge book sale. Yeah. You're gonna hold those up. Just show them the border while I get the next item. Yes. I think these were like five dollars altogether. Oh, we got some more. So you, many. There you go. Just show them the old, the spines. They were buy four get one free. Yeah, and already it's like a dollar a book, two dollars a book, which is great. Uh, so honestly, it's a good little balance, I think. Sci-fi. Definitely classic. No, should be good. Oh yeah, the literature section, of course. Uh, I got another pair of black trousers. Haven't even tried them on, didn't try them on in store because for Memorial Day, as we said, there were so many people. I've never heard this before, but at a thrift store, they were calling out numbers for people to go, go try stuff thing. on. It was crazy. Yeah, so it was like people would shop around and they would have little ticket oh, numbers and they'd go, number 99, <laughs> please come and try on your thrift, your thrift finds. These, from just looking at them, and I guess we'll see on B-roll when I throw it up, uh, are a much more formal pant. Comparing them to the ones I got at Goodwill, it's a much nicer material, definitely more formal looking, as I said, and better pleats, a good length. They're honestly really similar to my acne trousers that I wear like all the time as everyday trousers, uh, but a little bit wider at that, and a little bit more traditional at that, too. But these will be really fun, and hopefully I can, hopefully they actually fit me. But I guess you guys will know that by now. Whereas the ones I got at Goodwill, let me toss those back there, they are this really interesting blend. They're textured, it's like 100% synthetic. Do you remember what the blend was when we looked? It was like polyester and rayon, I think. Much baggier, and I think that I could wear these a bunch of different ways. So like I've worn them high-waisted, down below, where they actually reach my shoes, or where they're a little bit cropped, and I've rolled them up too. Whereas those back there, I will probably only wear in one way. A little bit nicer, a little bit, I don't even know what to say, but you guys will get the picture, you know. <laughs> Camera shut off. Don't know where I was, but I think I was mentioning two extra items, which is this belt right here. I'll talk about it again just in case. Uh, when I was in Vienna, Austria, there was this beautiful little shop like in the basement underneath the Y3 store, and there was this great uh, Yoji belt that had this metal tip, this awesome shaped buckle, but it was 295 euros. So for this one, 50% off, came in at about a dollar can't beat it so I just need to give it a little hole punch and maybe polish up the leather and it's really cool so it'll be a lot of fun oh and then an iMac that's the last thing <laughs> an iMac at the thrift store so I don't know what year it is I want to say 2001 a G3 I know it's a G3 for sure just the all little snow white little clear back to him and it doesn't really run it kind of boots up but the hard drive is shot so you just get like a start screen, which is really cool because they're selling it as in for a cool little $20. So you can't really complain at that. Um, I don't know what I want to do with it, whether I want to replace the hard drive and use it, or I kind of want to rig it, like rip out the guts and put in a different monitor, whether it'll be 
like use a desktop to power my site like as a display or just loop our favorite movies or our favorite runway shows something cool like that uh, so it'll just be like a fun little project like that but it was hilarious running into it Kaylee pointed it out and then I was like oh my god that's that iMac and um, yeah I want you to show off the little slippers you got because I love those and then maybe like the suit too because there's a really cool strap to it okay just real quick we got these red square toe flats Mm -hmm. Found them last minute when we were yeah. kind of about to check out. We what were, were those? Like $5? Yeah, they ended up being around $5. And it doesn't really seem like they've ever been worn. <laughs> but the inside is kind of gross. But besides that, so cute. We really love yeah. square toe shoes. Yeah, and they look great on. What were, you, were you wearing those like sparkly socks earlier? Or what were you wearing I was earlier? just wearing normal socks. Okay, and it looked really cute. cute. It looked cool. And then, yeah. I really like a strap across this guy. The full okay. suit. They had a really nice section of women's pantsuits and like business coordinates and I found this pinstripe pantsuit. I actually threw out the jacket I <laughs> came out here to film but the pants are super cute. They have these little cuffs at the bottom. The blazer that went with it that I actually forgot had this really nice strap across it and that's what originally caught my eye. Mm -hmm. It reminded me of your Robert Gallery. Yeah, that's pretty which cool. Which I thought was cool. And you want to wear it as a shirt which is fun. Yeah, that was my original. A lot of good attitude to it. But, oh my goodness, that's everything I got, but she has piles and piles. So mm -hmm. you're going to make your own video on your channel? Or we will? Yes. So if you guys want to see more stuff like that, you can head to hers. Hopefully it'll be up there uh, with even more thrifted stuff. But we honestly did really well. Like all together, probably spent a hundred and something dollars mm -hmm. across the two days. And there's even more stuff to come. So hopefully you guys enjoyed hanging out and seeing all we got and we gave you a little... Uh, insight and what we think when we go to thrift store and what we're looking for and that's about it so hope you guys liked hanging out and until next time everyone do us one last favor and have a good day for us we'll see you all in the next video peace out yay filming in public doesn't help <laughs> there's like no one here <laughs> i know okay